Hello everybody, Rose Thorne here. Today I am doing a react video to Foodie Beauty's live stream called Shopping. So this live stream went on for about an hour and 45 minutes. I've already taken a look at it and the first 30 minutes or so there's really nothing to talk about. Uh, I like to have my reacts to about an hour. So since the first 30 minutes is really nothing, we're going to cut that out and just go straight to the part where she goes shopping. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this react video. And if you do, please like and subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. And also, if you'd like, leave a comment. I always like seeing comments from people. So let's get to, let's get to. <laughs> The hard one. My seat all <laughs> One who makes me scream, she said. So sorry about that. I didn't know she was going to sing this early. I would have zipped past that. The one that makes me love, she said. So don't lie about it, lady. She probably didn't knew and didn't know about dill pickle nuggets because it's not really a thing. I mean, and I know it's too good to be true, but they have dill pickle flavored nuggets. Yeah, I'm not going to be looking at the chat while I'm driving to get some coffee and stuff. Ugh. My lungs, I'm trying not to smoke anything. Where am I breathing? I need my, uh, I'm out of my puffer, like I told you. So I don't know how long I've been sucking on it with no, it was at zero red when I happened to look today, so I'm like, I really need my puffer. Like I need the Simbacort. It's a steroid inhaler. And then I have the salbutamol for emergency. So I've taken that, but I need the for my asthma. So you might hear me breathe very heavy today until I get my puffer. They're still they're working on it now. <laughs> so I have a question for anybody who might be watching this React video that happens to have asthma. I don't know much about asthma. I know it's something that affects your breathing and it can be quite serious. And some people who have asthma, they do the puffers and the inhalers and whatnot. But those of you that are asthma sufferers, you've dealt with asthma, you let me know. If Foodie's smoke in the green, what she does all day, is that really good for the asthma? Because I don't think so. I would tend to think that her smoke in the green like that would actually make the situation worse. So I'm hoping I can get that before I <clears throat> go back home or whatever. Wherever we go, who knows? I want to go for a nice walk. It's freaking freezing. And it's so hard to breathe when you have asthma in the cold, cold like that. And when you're fat, on top of that, like being a fat asthmatic is the worst. And who smokes weed? I'm not smart. But I, can't, I love to. So, Foodie, as far as you're walking, when it's summertime, it's too hot. When it's winter, it's too cold. If weather is the issue, you could always get a treadmill or something like a treadmill. Put it in your home, and that way you can walk whenever you want. And here's the bonus. You won't have to worry about waiting for other people to not be around. You could just do it in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> well, why not? I need coffee. And a friggin' venti ice water. Uh, do I have enough sleep? The one that makes me scream, she said. The one that makes... I just know my body. Like, whenever I start getting really tired or just, like, run down for whatever reason, it doesn't mean, like, guys, I have trouble dealing with life. Like, the littlest thing will stress me out or make me so tired. Like, the littlest thing. Everything makes you tired, Bodhi. Everything. And you use that as an excuse not to do anything. You're always tired. Every live stream is always going to be a part where you say, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing you say that you're tired. You want to hear something shameful? I'm 51 years old. I walked around and got groceries and got supplies and I walked around my neighborhood for 35 minutes. Could you do that? No, I don't think you could. I think 10 minutes of that and you would just be gasping for breath. Girl, get yourself together. You're 37 years old and everything makes you tired. 
Having a positive thought in your head makes you tired. Everything tires you out. I have another therapy appointment on like 10 in the morning, but that's all they had. I think it's Friday. Friday at 10. <clears throat> yeah. So I'll have that and then we'll do Wait a minute, what? She's got another therapy appointment? Did she even do one? Because that would be news to me. I haven't heard anything about her going to actual therapy. The Beezer Awards by night. <laughs> I have, <laughs> I don't know, like, you guys are welcome to give me your suggestions and things, but for for what we could do and stuff. I want to have some prizes. I want to have some honorary prizes. If you guys don't mind giving me your address, I could maybe mail you some little dinky prizes or something. Like, we could go to Dollarama and buy some prizes, and then I can have some maybe, like. Oh, my God. So, she's having the Beezer Awards, and she's going to go to the dollar store to get prizes. Foodie. Instead of like going to the dollar store and being super cheap, which is insulting because these are the people who pay your bills. They pay your rent. They pay Natter's rent. They provide for your food. They give you the luxury of buying all the green you want to smoke or all the drugs you want to do. And you're going to go to the dollar store and get people little dollar store prizes. Girl, just save the money on the dollar store and just give money. I'm sure they would love money more than they would like stuff from the dollar store. That's probably going to cost more to mail than it is to actually buy it. Cash prices? Is this guy pulling out? Yeah, cash. They That's want cash. Is. Cash is always king when it comes to prizes. Everybody can use cash. Ew, that was gross. Perfect. I want my friggin' rice sugar cookie oat latte. When are they coming? When are they getting away with it? When are they doing away? You know what would be really cool? Going to Ireland for St. Patrick's Day. As someone who's part Irish, the Irish don't want you. We, I'm sure the people in Ireland would not want to deal with you, foodie. You wouldn't make it past the airport anyway, but leave Ireland alone. Leave all those Irish people alone. I wanted to do that. I don't know why I just thought of that, but anyways. No, because my hair fiber can is not empty. I don't want to get for the jumbo one. What happened to Shane? What happened to... You prefer paint cash? Yeah, cash. Uh, yeah, they'll be... So you guys have to download PayPal. Or Venmo. Should I do Venmo? I only have PayPal. I don't know, like a little... Like little... Prizes like 15, 20 bucks here and there. Like, I think that would be okay. Like $20 prizes. <laughs> What's in the she's talking about the Beezer Awards and she's just trying to figure out a way to do like a giveaway where she gives away the smallest amounts possible. Why even bother? Budget orange chicken. What are you looking at, miss? Hey. Eh? Maybe we should go try to get the dill pickle nuggets again. Maybe I should have something healthy for, for lunch. Oh, here's a comment. Kimmy Kazi says hundreds on craft weed for him and Dollarama for those that pay. Yeah, exactly. Those of you that are on her channel, you're the one that they, you guys pay for everything. You pay for everything about her life. You gift her this life that she has. And she can't be bothered to do like a decent giveaway. Like she's going to go to the dollar store for you guys. I mean, what a slap in the face. Yes. Damn it, Danny. Okay, good. Yes. Damn it, Danny is going to help me a bit. Raquel. Hi, Raquel. Hundreds on craft weed for, for me. <laughs> You think I'm going to not smoke craft weed? You think I'm just going to buy somebody a bunch of craft weed? No, it's for me, Kimikaze. You should see my stash now. I'm going to do a whole, show you all my... I, it doesn't matter if you buy the weed for yourself or for yourself and Natter. The point is still the same, foodie. You're buying all that green that you smoke up and you can't be bothered to do a decent giveaway for the VIBs. Either way, you still suck. I need to, like, fix my... Um, ikea area the second drawer will no longer be this is 2022 
the KFC drawer is retired and we are having craft cannabis drawer. Oh God. With papers from Bougie Beauty. Bougie. <laughs> I was wondering when people were like, Bougie, like what are you talking about? It's small instrument. I thought that's how it was spelled too. I don't know. Look at Foodie over there trying to elevate herself, talking about craft weed and, and bougie rolling papers, just trying to elevate herself. You know what, Foodie? There's an old saying. You can paint a garbage can gold, but it's still a gold garbage can. That applies to you also. Blazy Beauty is good too. But I want bougie papers, so bougie makes sense. A bougie is a candle. Yeah, that's true. I've heard of that. That was horrific. Hi, Cole. Look, Chantal's over there using words she don't even understand. She has no idea of the true meaning. Bougie means you're just trying to elevate yourself to be more than what you are. You know, so bougie is not exactly the best of terms. She wants to be bougie. Yeah, you're trying to be bougie. Doesn't mean you're a better person. Starbucks pumpkin bread. Blazy Beauty is correct. You can't even do one channel half your channel. Right. Yeah. Well, yes. That'll come soon. <laughs> I want to make a subscription box. I think I would put some cool things in it. A BK drawer. No. Oh, you were sick all night? Sorry to hear that. Everybody is. Stop scratching down there. Hi, Faith. Oh, neat. No, it's uh, my roll. The one that makes me scream. She's. Fredo noodle farts. Whenever Nana when wanted to make me laugh, he would go. It's <laughs> 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 your noodle. Oh, my it can be. Everyone can be. No, some people are not funny at all. You ever meet anybody who's just like, you just want to get away from them as soon as possible because. Uh, Chantal, meet Mirror. They don't laugh at anything. It's just like, nothing is funny at all. I hate that. How do you live like that? Amberlynn's chili actually looks good. Foodie Doobie. Oh my God, that's a good one. Foodie Beauty's Tracy. <laughs> Beauty. Are my teeth okay? I floss them with my new floss. I brush them really good and really well. And I use mouthwash. I'm ready to kiss. Where are we going? Shopping. You made a good chili, Krista. What do you put in your chili? Do you make ground beef with breath night? And then I just like woke up, wash my face, brush my teeth, do the wet wipes on my JJ and my oh, butt, my butt, and I, I went out the door. <laughs> everything but take a shower. Notice she did not say the word shower. She did everything but shower. And if you are a person of a bigger size, it's important to take a shower because if you don't take a shower, if you don't keep yourselves clean, that could lead to skin infections and foodie. I don't care what she says about curing her diabetes. That's a bunch of shenanigans. I'm Irish. I'm calling shenanigans on that. You know, you can't cure or get diabetes, especially with her drinking the, the high sugar drinks that she does and the carbs and the fats and all that. You're not curing diabetes that way, Chantal. Uh, but if you're a person of a bigger size, you've got to be careful with your hygiene because that can lead to skin infections. And if you're a diabetic, that means whatever infections, whatever wounds you might have are subject to infection and that could be disastrous for her. <laughs> I don't know. I don't smell, I think. It says who? <laughs> Girl, if you're washing your JJ with wipes and that's it, you are asking far too much of those wipes. Oh, why well, act like a kid? Shower twice a day. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I do most times now, actually. When? When do you do that? 
Chantal, Chantal, listen, a proper shower is something over five minutes. A five minute shower is when, you, you know, like you're just doing what you got to do as quickly as possible, but you can't take a really good shower unless it's like 10 minutes or more. I spend about 10 to 15 minutes in the shower and that's washing my hair and everything. And you're over there saying that you're in there for five minutes. You're not doing anything. Continue with the wet wipes. I do have some. There's a number here I don't like. Oh, I don't want to say. There's a few. No name chips. We see that are clearing the stove with beauty's wet wipes. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Bottle of the cat. Just depends. <laughs> And I'm scared to cough at all because I don't like I cough with my asthma too. It's more of like a little it's um it's not a huge cough, but I know echo, but I don't feel sick at all. I'm not sick. I know I'm just run down. Cause I feel a lot better today. I slept a long time and I feel so much better. I just really need a coffee. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. Notice that every time Chantal says she feels ill or her throat's bothering her or she's stuffed up, it's always after spending time with Natter. And I feel the reason for that is because she's just doing the cola. And we can always tell when she's done the cola because she's over there blowing her nose, you know, like doing the tissue inside the nose. That's always a dead giveaway that she's doing the cola. And then notice like a couple of days after that, she's fine. But it's always when she's hanging around Natter. I need to get some groceries so I can cook something healthy. <clears throat> Wipes down his cutting board about a thousand times. <laughs> Wait a minute, what is this? Somebody's sending a super chat saying, why are you standing by doing nothing while Che threatens to dox, track down, and sh and hurt one of your followers? What? What? Che, are you doing that? Girl, don't be doing that. Sam, why are you standing by, why are you standing by doing nothing while Che threatens to dox, track down, and shoot the brain? What? What is this about? What are you talking about? Who did what? Che wouldn't do that. Give me a break. Oh, you're down. On, like, salt wipes on your down under. <laughs> Thinking it's like other wipes. Can you? Oh, checking can you email me? So for King. You have screenshots? You guys need to love each other. Yeah, I'm not going to dox anybody. I already told you that. I'm not like that. <coughs> like if, for a teaser day? I guess he's like a food vlogger. <laughs> Every time he takes a bite, he goes, Oh, wow. <laughs> you have to watch it and pay attention. He does every single time. But the food, oh my God. It's like watching, like, when did I fall asleep watching? Dude, he does every single. I feel weak. I'm hungry. I need a chicken. Is Pete moving? No. <clears throat> so A Beezer, I guess they're talking about Pete. A Beezer says he needs an actual job and apartment. I hope it happens for him. I hope so too. Pete is not my favorite person at all. But he really needs to get out from underneath Chantal's apron. He needs to you know, detach himself away from her because she's on the way down. Her channel is tanking and she doesn't give a damn. He needs to go out and make for himself. Stop relying on Chantal for everything because, you know, relying on her is just crippling him to not go out and stand on his own two feet. Hi, it's God. I'm doing okay. He's an actual job in apartment. For who? For Pete? Yeah, Pete is sleeping. 
He gets up very late, so he might get up too late. But see who she's been on food in a week. I don't even know. I don't. I don't like. I don't budget, and I should. I should budget. How much should a person eat in a week? I don't know, but Chantel Anders, Shay, email me what you said about Chris. We'd have to get the all flex and the mini size. Yeah, so there was some earlier talk in the live stream that I skipped past, the 30 minutes that I skipped past. Somebody was recommending to Chantal to get Olaplex. And Olaplex is something that hairdressers use for their clients that if your hair is damaged, like say from an old perm or coloring or something, they will often use Olaplex on your hair to help repair the damage. And I've used it and it does work. But here's the thing. In order for Olaplex to work, you have to keep your hair clean. You have to be on top of your hair health, which Chantal is not. So even if she got something like Olaplex or more expensive, it's not going to work on her because all she's doing is piling hairspray and hair fibers on top of greasy, dirty hair. What's that Olaplex going to do? Chantal, if you want your hair to be healthy, you got to keep it clean, sis. There's no way around it. You got to wash your hair every once in a while. I'm chipper, Kelsey. Yeah, I'm feeling good today. And I'm not buzzed out, so. Oh, the lemon loaf is good. Hi, sweetheart. Not like physically blah, only just like mentally blah, you know? You guys know my struggle with that shrink. <clears throat> Smoke bees? Oh, I will. Should I tell Chantal what homeboy you will do? What are you guys talking about? Are you guys like, you know, I don't know anything about you guys really. I sound blah. My fatty liver, I don't know. The last time I had it done, my liver enzymes were okay, my doctor said. It wasn't that long ago, actually. Oh, cut it out. The last time you went to the doctor, Chantal, your fatty liver was three times the size that it should be. You have a very enlarged fatty liver. And considering the amount of calories you eat and the sugary drinks, I'm sure your liver is in serious trouble. Maybe that's the reason why you don't go to the doctor anymore because they're not gonna give you good news. They're not gonna say, ma'am, you're in the best of health. Don't worry about anything. They're gonna give you the bad news and you're not, you don't wanna hear it. You don't want to hear what the doctors tell you. Even if they told you what you should do for your health, you're not going to listen. Uh, but I'll tell you what, Chantal, if you don't take care of your liver or something happens to it and it starts to break down, you're going to be in serious trouble because that's pretty much a death sentence. Like, so maybe it was just um, when I was like 400 and eating a lot of, a lot of crap every day. Oh, here's another lie. When I was 400, Chantal, listen, let's talk about your weight for a minute. Your weight is your business. You can weigh whatever you want to weigh. It's your body. But please stop lying about your weight. Girl, I'm looking at you. All right. You're between the neighborhood of 425, 450, 475. You're well over 400, ma'am. I, I did the math on you. You were at 300 pounds when you left BB, and that was two years ago. And if you're eating in the neighborhood of, say, six, 7,000 calories a day, you're gaining between one to two pounds every day, which means between 30 to 60 every month times three months, that's 100 pounds, and it's been two years, okay? You are at 500 pounds or close to 500 pounds. So please stop with the lies about 400. You're well over that. I can tell that by looking at your face, your arm wiggle that you do, your arm fat has filled out considerably. So you can use all the filters you want on your face, but it doesn't block the rest of you, okay? You're over 400 pounds. Dude, now I eat healthy and healthier. <clears throat> I was on Discord, oh, okay. Well, whatever. You guys fight, don't tell me about stuff in Discord, I don't care. 
for your birthday dinner the 13th? I was watching Mark Wings eat that. Send Chantel the screenshots and read them. <laughs> Funny. Hey, it's, I run a magical tree business. I would love to give you some. Oh my god, Bunny! Yes, hit me up on Instagram. Foodie underscore beauty underscore official. That would be so awesome. Where's my wallet? Notice she really doesn't care about her members unless they say they want to give her something. Whether it's money or treats, then all of a sudden she's like, Oh my God, hit me up on Instagram. You know, she really doesn't care about her members unless they give her something. So I actually check, I have it written down. Remember I told you when, she, when uh, my appointment was, I think it was the 30th or something. What I said at like 5.30. That's so, I don't know. Like she just called me randomly. <laughs> Oh, so I have to call her back. I have a list of things. I want my A1C retested. I want my liver enzymes. I want all blood work done, redone. Um, I seriously doubt those tests are going to get done, but you can be sure that if they're done and if there's any bad result, Foodie's not going to tell anybody the truth. She's going to come back and she's going to make up a bunch of lies about what the doctor said. I might get retested for a stool sample, like culture and things, just to make sure I don't have anything. In, like last time I got, I did the stool sample. I didn't have any C dip or anything on. Thank God, that stuff is so hard to get rid of. If you eat. It's, so in, it's so interesting how Foodie is able to magically heal serious things like C diff and diabetes. Chantal, what's your secret? How are you able to cure your own C. diff? How are you able to cure diabetes? I'm sure a lot of people that suffer from those things would love to know. Crappy too, it doesn't help. Like when I, at the time when I had it, I had the worst, my, my gut microbiome was like, shit, no pun intended. So I've been eating a lot more like healthy food. Than when? When did this happen? Things that are good for the tummy and rebuilding and culture in your stomach. Stuff like bulgur, stuff like yogurt. What? Wait, what? You're you you what? You're eating a lot of healthy stuff. What? When did you eat healthy stuff? We watch your live streams. Where where did this healthy stuff come from? When did you eat it? Because I haven't seen you eat it. What are you talking about? Uh, tahini. All those things are so good for you guys. So. I really like, like, yes, Matter introduced me to that way of eating, but if there's anything really positive I can take away from this, it's definitely the food. The food has been the one perfect thing, definitely. Oh, maybe I have a love affair with food. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past me, right? You have an obsession with food, the way you have an obsession with men and everything else. But... Oh, I want to take. I want to go with pizza indigo. That's right. We should do that. Maybe later. Anyway, he he has a lot of books. I don't think I'll even buy a book when I'm there. I, I just can't get it. Notice that I never wear them because I always lose one. <laughs> I don't know why. I put them down somewhere and then one goes missing, and I always only have one darn earring. I need a jewelry box. I have a jewelry box. I'll use it. Oh my god, my life is chaos. I, I don't know how anyone can stand me. We know why nobody can stand me. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> oh, my stomach. My coffee on an empty stomach is not good. So, yeah, I think today I'm going to do that. We have to do. Uh, Maybe we'll check out if there's any patties left. I don't think so at this time. There will be, but we'll see. Pat so she's over there talking about healthy gut health. You know, like her, her gut needs to be healthy. Her gut is getting healthy, blah, blah, blah. And yet here she is wanting to go get meat patties. I don't think that really helps out your gut, Chantal. I don't think it's going to help out the healthy bacteria in your gut. You know, I'm not a doctor, but 
I, I just don't see that helping with that at all. Bodies, or no, we'll see. I'm not, we're sorry, Ramona got her dress. That's where Ramona got her dress. Very nice dress. Chantal, you could possibly have it. Get a lab test. Did you call Super XL Gunt? I can't buy a lab test. Where do I do that? Okay, Chantal. I don't know if you have the vid. I do know they're at risk if there's you happen to catch it. Even people who are vaccinated, uh, they could possibly catch it. The only thing that the vaccination, the boosters do, is if you happen to catch it, it won't get as serious as if you're not vaccinated. I wish that you would get vaccinated just because you're out in the public so much and you're exposing people potentially to catching it from you if you're asymptomatic. But if you can't find it at any store anywhere, you could always order it. You can always order a, a test swab. Manson McNeil, David Bowie, Starbees on the 8th. Starbees! I get hit on by a lot of women, actually. What? Where? Hi, Sammy and Ann. I do. I'm not sick. No, I'm not sick at all. I'm not. I swear, I'm just like run down. So Holly W says she can buy a vid test online for 50 bucks, though, but shipping takes two weeks. Not exactly true. You can overnight the test. You can overnight it. It takes two weeks. Not true. I have a friend of mine who couldn't find it in any stores anywhere. They ordered it and they paid a little bit of extra shipping for overnight, but you can do overnight shipping. It doesn't take two weeks. Ow! Right. I'm not shaving my armpits ever again. Ew. Screw that. It's not worth it. And that's not me shaming people who decide not to shave underneath their arms. I'm saying that for Chantal just because of her hygiene. Okay. You can have someone, you can be someone that you have armpit hair and keep it clean and it's your personal choice. So I'm not armpit hair shaming anybody, but I'm saying it for her because of her lack of hygiene and it can get real nasty real fast. Let's go finish that. Oh my God. Will you guys be quiet about the COVID? I don't have COVID. How do you know that? You could be asymptomatic. I'm not getting a test right now. I'm not going home. Be mad. Why? Um, where do I buy one? You still want to go in? I'm not coming down from uppers, you freaking weirdo. Yeah, you are. Why are you being a weirdo? Can I ask? Oh, what is this? Uh, JJ says, yes, I don't know what, what it's like in, in Ottawa. But I'm from more northern Ontario, and we can buy them at the pharmacy. Stock could be low in more populated areas, though. So it might be available where she's at, but she's just not. In, she's not looking. You know, she's she hasn't checked around to see if it's available where she's at. Uh, and even if it's not, you can still order it. Hold on, we miss you. Okay. 
<clears throat> and there's somebody else saying, I just ordered 25 off Amazon. So there's all kinds of resources. If you want to get tested, there's ways to do it. It's just that Chantal's really not interested. All right. Well, Astrid wants to go bye bye. Go, Astrid. Does anyone actually like that person or what? Someone going to cry and ask me to unblock them? <coughs> what do you guys think? She's so out of breath just walking around the store. I didn't see the hand sanitizer there. That's in a different section, Whoa. Chantal. Is this a dress? You're not going to find hand sanitizer in the clothing section. This is a dress. These are nice. This is a dress. It's super long. And you can wear it with leggings. What do you think? No? No. That looks like the shirt she bought right there. That checkered shirt. That looks like the shirt she's, she's bought and she wore it before. Doesn't that look like it? That lumberjack looking shirt? But she got it at Target. something nice okay. <laughs> grease kelly says look at all of that tacky clothing gorgeous <laughs> i know i mean she's not wrong all that clothing did look tacky no move don't take me around how about this this is nice and long hey you like it no All right, now my cup. Chantal needs a stylist in the worst way. She has no idea how to dress for her size or the right coloring to accentuate her her skin. She needs a stylist so bad because she doesn't know how to dress. I see your boob. Uh, <coughs> I like this best. What about the one with cherries on it? Oh, no, never mind. Hmm. Oh, this is the sweater I like. Let me get this one. So many bucks. Let me see. What do you guys think? You like? Tacky. No. For what? What size is there? Of all the clothing in the store, she goes for the tackiest looking clothing. One X. <coughs> you like it? Girl, stop playing. You're not a one X. You're more like a three or four. What about this sweater? What is this? Hold on. This is made of four. A little fashion tip, Chantal, you're very pale skinned. Anything of a light color is going to wash out against your skin tone. So that shirt would be a no. What do you think? No. I like flesh tones. Yeah, but they're not good on you. They're too small. And it's too see-through. Hmm. I don't really like any much. There's that shirt. <sighs> I 
Hey, my vest is on sale. Hmm. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Girl, that's another no. Keep walking. Ooh. Okay. Can't really see my ears, but you get the idea. All right. Is it bad? Is it bad? Sorry. Nice. I got this in a 3X. And. Chantal, you were a four or five X. Why do you get things that are always too small? And then you don't wash them correctly and then they shrink even further. I love the colors. You see the colors? Not you guys don't like fleshy tone things? I find like like pinks like this are my color. Like, no, they aren't. If they look nice on me, you know? No, they don't. Dark colors are good for you, not light colors. Damn, I like the color, damn. All right, now, <laughs> are they joggers? Yeah, they're like joggers. I got a lot of joggers. I love joggers. New cat PJs, I'm so excited. Oh, here's the rest of the earring. <coughs> oh my God, I don't look too nice here. I need some hair strands. There we go. Anyway, I'm just gonna go use Kleenex. I'm gonna come back. Actually, I have to record my video. What one? My New Year's video. I have to work on that. What's the date today? It's already the New Year. I'm late. Yeah, you're very late. Oh. I never too late. Feel like I am. It's too late for a New Year's video. You might as well just cancel that. Why do I feel like I never have enough time to do anything? Because you smoke all the time and you sleep all day. So you sleep all day. Then as soon as you get up, you smoke, which makes you not want to do anything. And then you say to yourself, I'm tired and go back to bed and lather, rinse, repeat. Please, please. Your comment about the panda made me laugh. Daily cooking <laughs> I don't think so. But even when I did, I got to eat. I have to eat. It doesn't take me long. Is it gonna have a okay? You know what? This live stream is pretty much done, so I cut it down to like less than an hour. Uh let's see the comments on the video since we have a little bit of extra time. Uh let's see. Uh, Rebecca Elliott says, this woman earns more than the majority of us that work really hard, and that physically makes me feel sick. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people feel the way. The fact that Chantal can get on YouTube, and she makes a tremendous amount of money, and she doesn't have to do much for it. And what's worse is that she doesn't appreciate the people who give her money enough to treat them well. You know, she's not grateful for the life she has. She treats people rudely, and she gets away with it. Uh, you dumb says just because she said she's sick and wants to justify her going to public she says i swear everyone has the vid right now no everyone has the vid right now you know i don't know if she does or not you know she might be one of those people that she's got it and she's asymptomatic she won't know until she gets tested uh jamie says we don't care about your relationship with natter anymore it's getting old you know jamie it's been old but she doesn't care. She's going to keep shoving it down people's throats. Uh, Chantal's old KFC says, imagine being with someone and they want to keep you a secret. She doesn't go live at Natters anymore because he told her not to. Precisely that. She, she won't go live over there anymore because he told her, don't do it. Uh, let's see. JC says, content queen, driving, getting food and shoveling it. Drug hauls and getting high AF, blocking anyone that says any opinion, shopping for clothes that don't fit right, epic, off to natters who literally treats you like garbage and uses you and lies to you for money and groceries and rides and drugs. 
in my opinion, keep blaming though your painting members for all the negativity. I used to really root for you and like you. Well, that happens. Some VIBs are dropping off because they're getting hip to everything. Uh, but that's the way she wants to live her life. Just a complete nonsense. Uh, Pentua says, of course, she admits that she still plays with her phone while driving, searching for songs on YouTube, hitting repeat when the song finishes, gazing over to watch the video while driving. Yeah, distracted driving. That's why all of us who watch her and react to her hate her driving. It's one thing for her to be at home and, you know, do whatever she does at home. But getting on the road is a whole different story. You're putting other people at risk. Let's see. Estelle Percival says she might do a making a snowman video, maybe in February when there's lots of snow. I've got news for you, Chantal. You live in Canada where it's winter eight months of the year. I don't think you need to wait until it's almost Easter to provide that content. <laughs> I know, right? It's Canada. Snow everywhere in Canada. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Donna Oberlin says, for those prices, she needs to try them on to see if they fit. She thinks she's smaller than she is, and every style is cut differently. I refuse to spend over 50 bucks on clothes other than shoes or coats. She's like Amberlynn Reed on steroids, buying useless stuff. How about losing weight until your clothes fall off of you and you have to buy a new wardrobe? She bought joggers, joggers, LOL, the irony. The 5X shirt will be the only thing that actually will fit properly. Yeah, she, she buys things that are way too small. I've got a theory on that. Uh, I think in the past when she did torrid hauls, a lot of the stuff that she bought, she bought deliberately to be too small because she would put the stuff on and it catered to the feeders. Uh, they like to see clothing that's too tight on someone who's overweight. That's kind of their fetish. Notice that in every tour at all, only one thing she bought was actually her size and everything did not fit properly. That's because with the other stuff, she was catering to the theaters. And I think she's trying to do that again with the 3X stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Summer Flower says, a, hu a little humility goes a long way. That's a lesson that's going to befall her soon, and she isn't going to like it very much. Careful how you treat people on the way up, because those are the same people you meet on the way back down. Yeah, I've heard that saying before. Be careful how you treat people on the way up the ladder, because those are the same people that you might meet on the way back down. Uh, Chantal doesn't care. She treats everybody equally, like crap. And it's going to cost her later. <laughs> Stephen Cornwall says, someone in the chat asked if she was wearing an inflated life jacket in the car. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like, don't it? Let's see. So there's lots of comments here. I just want to put some of those in real quick. But that's it for the live stream. I don't know if she's got another one going on right now. If she does, I will cover it later. Hope you guys have enjoyed this React video. If you do, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.